All right, so this video is 2.3.0. Okay, so this just serves as an overview uh, of of all the different methods and things that we've done so far and also to give some context of what we're going to talk about here. So uh, we're, of course, we're in section two, so we're talking about the roots of equations, and this is uh, just a little bit of modification and refinement on the, the outline that we have previously. We Graphical methods we've talked about, bracketing methods we've talked about, the bisection method, false position method. We've talked about several different open methods. Uh, and what I did here, though, is I, 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 I'm adding different open methods that we're going to talk about this time. And also, uh, here, let me remove those for now. Also, uh, I'm uh, doing further organization, right? So we have these basic methods, I'm going to call them that, or general open methods, fixed point iteration, and the newton raphson method, the secant method. And then we have these these equations for, uh, that are uh, there are these methods that are suitable for equations with multiple roots, and so I'll I'll, uh, I'll introduce that. Um, actually, let's let's just go through these uh, in the order that they're going to be introduced. So the first thing that we're going to do in this video series or in this lecture is is to solve an example uh, of of a nonlinear equation. So we're going to introduce nonlinear equations. I'm going to put a star by the things that are going on in this lecture. So uh, solve a system of nonlinear equations and, and just bring up the fact that that's one of the applications for root finding that makes it actually generally useful. Um, and then show an example of solving a system of nonlinear equations using fixed point iteration in video 2.3.2. .2. Then we jump up here to video 2.3.3 .3, and that is uh, just an explanation of of uh, the fact that uh, there are uh, there are problems. There are some special problems, special situations that come up when we're solving equations with multiple roots, and so there are specific methods which are suitable for those. Uh, inverse quadratic interpolation, which we talked about before, can, can actually be used for for multiple roots. It's it's okay, and and it's actually what's used in in Brent's method. But when then we reintroduce two more. Uh, in video 2.3.4, and that's the uh, a modified newton raphson method, and that's the main one that we introduced. But there's also a uh, a secant method that's that's modified to work with multiple roots, and uh, that's uh, not to be confused with uh, the modified secant method, which which we didn't uh, talk about before, but the books uses the term modified secant method in another context simply to to refer to uh, the secant method that uses only one guess and, and a perturbation. But not to get that confused here, uh, and then we talk about, so there's 2.3.4, uh, now we jump down to uh, motivating the whole the whole thing of solving uh, for complex roots or or, or polynomials uh, that's sort of a special problem a lot of these methods and and the inverse uh, quadratic interpolation is one that was designed specifically not to work uh, for finding complex roots we didn't want to with that one uh, there are other methods that are suitable for finding the uh, roots of polynomials uh, with uh, and 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 even finding the complex roots and the motivation for that comes from uh, eigenvalue problems, which uh, which I give a little little video to introduce that, and then uh, so then with that as background, then we we go on to uh, 2.3.6 explaining Mueller's method, which is a new method. Uh, give a little background uh, information on polynomial deflation to set up our explanation of Berceau's method, which. Uh, which is another method uh, for finding uh, the roots of polynomial uh, of polynomials, or or when we have complex roots. So uh, there we go. That's that's sort of the the outline uh, that we have uh, for this for this section. So uh, enjoy.